One of the simplest methods of screen printing is using paper stencils. A shape is cut from a piece of paper and stuck to the screen by printing onto it. Once the paper stencil is stuck to the screen, several copies of this image can be printed onto paper. The most popular type of stencil used in screen printing is the light sensitive stencil, or photoemulsion stencil. Using a liquid photoemulsion, it is applied to the screen by the aid of a coating trough. A thin, even layer of the emulsion is gently pushed into the mesh and the screen is then placed into a darkroom cupboard to dry. Due to the fact that the screen is now coated in a light sensitive emulsion, it will remain in the dark until it is ready to be exposed to the artworks. Image making. Most screen prints are made up of several layers of colour. To achieve this, marks are made onto acetates that is, transparent plastic sheets, either by hand, photocopied or digitally printed onto acetate for each layer of colour. They are put onto the ultraviolet exposure unit. The coated screen is now removed from the darkroom cupboard and placed over the top of the drawings. The lid is secured and the exposure time is set. A rubber lid and vacuum help keep the drawings in close contact to the screen. The ultraviolet light that is encased in the unit shines up and hardens the emulsion except where the drawings are. They act as a block against the ultraviolet light and stop it from hardening that area of the emulsion. Once the required time has been reached, the screen is removed from the UV unit and taken to the washout bay. Here, water is rinsed over both sides of the screen and the screen is developed, leaving the area where the drawings were open. The screen is now put into a heated cupboard to dry. Once the screen is dry, it is ready to print with. The screen is attached to the printing press by the aid of press bars and small clamps. It is important that the screen does not move out of place when printing. The height between the screen and the press bed is also checked to make sure there is a small gap. This is called the snap and helps to release the paper from the screen when printing. A squeegee rest is put in place to lean the squeegee against and a piece of PVC is stuck down to the press bed to help with registration. The acrylic based screen printing ink is spooned onto the screen in a line below the layer you are about to print. The vacuum is switched on. This helps hold the paper steady when you are printing. Holding the squeegee, the ink is pushed forward so that it fills the gaps of the mesh with images. The squeegee is then pulled towards the person and the ink is pushed onto the PVC below. This now shows you where the ink is going to land. The master copy is lined up below the PVC to register it with the correct part of the image. Once it is in the right place, registration marks are put around the paper so that you know where to put it each time. The paper is then printed with the first colour and put on the rack afterwards. The next few sheets of paper are also printed with the first colour. Once the required amount of paper is printed with the first colour, the ink is washed off the screen. This process is repeated for the subsequent layers until the print is finished. Now that the photoemulsion stencil has been used, it can be cleaned off ready for next time.